Faves of the Ocean um, card, I guess. And so some of these things I have already done. As you guys know, I do sometimes do some stuff ahead of time uh, just because it's easier and you don't have to watch me cut things and all that good stuff. So I am going to be using my Stamparatus today. And that is an amazing tool. So I have my paper already in my Stamparatus. This is a three by four and a quarter inch piece of pool party. Almost forgot what it was. And then I have the big wave die here on the other side. And you'll notice I do have a post-it note here. That is telling me that when I ink it up, I only have to ink it up this far. So I don't have to add ink, you know, to this part. I can just put it right here. So that's what we're going to do. So let me get my Versamark. I want to ink this up in Versamark. And so I'm going to stick my stamp case. Where is my, oh, it's right here. I was like, where are my stamps? So the Waves of Inspiration is a collection of stuff. Oh, let's see see how much do you use it trying to decide if any oh katie it's one of those things where you know i i have both machines and so obviously i prefer the bigger one because all the dies fit in it all the folders fit in it so i don't have to you know think oh should i use this one or this one i just always use my big one but my small one is really handy for like when i'm doing these live events because i can bring it over here it's a lot more portable for me um if i was to go somewhere with my stamps like sometimes i you know i used to go up and visit my mom quite a bit before she passed away so i would take it with me then um if i go to you know any sort of stamp class or a crop or whatever it's very easy and very portable so um and you can get it for half price so if you have like a party of 450 dollars or if you're a demonstrator and you do have your own party you can get that little machine for half off so you can get it for like 30 bucks so i mean in that sense it's totally worth it so just my just my opinion on it for you all right so the waves of the ocean collection we have the amazing designer series paper and i'm sure you guys have seen this over the place this was actually created by one of the stampin up artists and they did it by pouring paint the pouring paint method where you take a canvas and you dump a color on and then you dump another color on you dump another color on and then you kind of tilt the canvas around and this is what happens and then they took a picture of it and then turned it into designer series paper so they did use uh, multiple colors as you can tell to do this and then you know multiple amounts of paint um so it's just really really amazing and i think when you find out actually how this was created it just makes it even that much more special so here's one with a uh, lots of blues and greens and white and they're just so much fun so those are the papers and that's how they created it which i think is really cool and then we have these foil sheets there are three different colors in here, and I know this are gonna, these are going to be super uh, bright for the camera, but we're going to pull them out and show them to you anyway. So we have the kind of coastal cabana color, the Knight of Navy. Oh, wow, that is so shiny. And then there's a silver, which I didn't pull out, but silver, I think we can all imagine what silver looks like. And then the collection also does um, include the Rhinestone Waves Basic Jewels, which are these gorgeous shades of blues and greens. Um, and I don't know about you guys. I just love rhinestones. They're like my favorite thing. They're so easy to put on. They come off the sheet really simply. They're not super fat. Um, they're just amazing. And I just, I just love them. Three by four and a quarter stamp on the Stamparatus. And I'm doing this just because sometimes if you don't get enough ink and you want to ink it up again, then this would just make it a little bit easier. So my theory on Versamark is I ink it up until I think I have enough ink on my stamp and then I add some more. Um, I don't feel like you can ever have too much Versamark on your stamp, but you can definitely have not enough. So we're going to push that over and then look what I have. I have this little presser tool. Now I made this, okay? This is the thing that I made. If you guys remember, Stampin' Up! used to sell cookie press, a cookie press set and they had this wooden handle and then you would just put the silicone cookie thing would just go around this and it would sit on you could press designs into your cookies so I, I found these the other day I have two of them and I thought that would make the most awesome presser for a stamparatus okay but if you don't have this um 
there is a game called air hockey and air hockey uses a little pusher, a thing that looks similar to this. And so I did link those below. Um, if you're, if you need a Stamparatus presser tool, um, it's down there. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and just do that one more time just to make sure that I have enough because I was chit chatting a little bit. So we're going to go again. I'm just pressing this with my little tool. Oh, and then I just put felt on this. If you guys have this and you don't use the cookie things anymore, um, then you can do that. All right. So you can get that out of the way. Then I had already used my anti-static bag on this. Um, Stampin' Up! used to sell this. We don't sell it anymore, but you can get it. Link is below. Again, I might make a tiny commission if you buy it from my link. If you don't, it's not a big deal. Um, and then I do have this little tray. This is kind of like a beading tray. Stampin' Up! used to sell these. They don't anymore. And this is also linked below. All right. So I'm just going to add my powder. And then I would get my heat tool out. And what's really nice about these trays is then you can just tap, tap, tap that back into the tray or back into the container and get all that powder back in there. And then of course we would bring in our heat tool to melt that. I have already done that. And by the magic of TV, there it is. So I was using our basics embossing powders, which includes the white, the black, and the clear. Um, if you don't have our embossing powders, they are amazing. And there you go. Oh my gosh, you guys. I found this the other day while I was cleaning up my stamp room. My brother had given this to me for Christmas a couple years ago. And then I gave one to Dina and Kelly. They're so fun. Listen. And his horn lights up. Isn't that amazing? And so I wanted to share that with you guys too. I looked on Amazon. There's only a couple of them left, but I did link it in case you're interested. Okay, let us move on with the card. So we have all that put together. So now I have a layer of Knight of Navy, eight and a half by five and a half. I'm just gonna fold that in half. I'm gonna bring in my bone folder, give that a nice crease, and that's gonna go on the front there. I also have a piece of the designer series paper I think it's two inches. Is it two? Yes. So it's two by five and a half. And then I have like a half inch strip of that beautiful kind of coastal cabana, Bermuda Bay. Um, do you ever powder coffee? You know, since I have this tray, I don't need a coffee filter, but I have heard that they, that they work. I just have always used a tray. Um, I got them, like I said, way back when Stampin' Up! used to sell them and I've just always used them because they're amazing. All right. So let's add this. I think this is going to be a little bit long, but that's okay. Better too long than too short, right? Let's just try to get it so we have an equal amount all the way down the whole strip. And then I'm going to add this to my card right at the fold line. Okay. Like so. There we go. Get that on there. It's been a while since I've been able to join your live. Oh, Susan's joining us. Hello, Susan. Susan is another one of my team members. I think I have four of my team members on here. I've got Penny and Laura and Shanna and Susan. And I don't know. I wasn't totally watching the comments. There could be a couple of more. I don't know. But hello, ladies. Welcome. So I'm going to snip off the end of that. And that, whoops, there we go. All right, what else do we have in here? All right, and then I'm gonna set this up here. But before I do that, I have a couple of pieces I need to put on. So there is, there are two different kind of wavy dies in the set. And um, they basically, I mean, they look very similar. Like looking at them, they look very similar but they're not the same. They're definitely made to layer on each other. Maybe you can see that. Let me bring in a white piece of paper here. So you can see, so you could use, you know, one or both. Um, we're gonna use both on this card. So I did run um, each of them through um, the, and this, these would work in the mini machine too. You know, they're, they're definitely the right width for the mini machine. Um, 
So we're going to add these to the layer here right over my embossed part. So I'm going to bring my, whoops, my liquid glue in here. And I am a pretty good liquid gluer. Um, it does, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit of time to get um, skilled at something. And I have, I mean, I am just barely squeezing my bottle, just getting the tiniest bit of glue out of here. Um, trying to get it all over. So, and then if I get too much, I just rub it with my finger so that it doesn't squish out, you know, all over and make a mess. So I'm going to bring in a silicone mat, silicone craft sheet in case I do go, you know, outside the edge of the layer with the glue. And I'm going to press that into place like so. Getting some of that glue off my hand. And then I'm going to bring this piece in. I'm going to do the same thing. So actually, I'm going to snip off the excess before I start, and then I'll know where I need to put the glue. So I want to make sure I get it at the very end. But then if you just kind of, you know, gently, and I'm not putting it on every single part of this. I'm kind of just trying to go for the wider parts where the tip of the glue will, you know, get in there for me. And again, if I get too much, I can just use my finger and kind of dab it off just barely. Well, silly YouTube didn't give Polly, is that what it was? Polly didn't get her notification. Ugh, I am sorry, Polly. Sometimes YouTube is a, uh, you just never know. All these social medias, you just can never tell. All right. So I'm going to smash that down. And this is my first card, yes. So if you guys are just joining me, uh, you haven't missed any of the card making. You just missed, of course, you know, a little bit of uh, banter back and forth with everyone about my silly child. Um, he's a typical 18-year-old boy. Typical. Well, I don't want to say he's a typical man because that kind of is rude and that kind of groups all men into, you know. But in my family, he's a typical man. There you go. Okay, so we have our gorgeous wave. We've got our white embossing back there, and then we've got the two foil pieces um, on top of each other, and that is just beautiful. All right, so also in the die, in the die set, there are a couple of labels. Let me get them out here. So there's this large one that I have die cut here, and there is this smaller one that I don't have die cut. Um, then we also have this die to cut the pelican out and then we have some clouds and some birds okay so we have a die that'll cut these cute little birds and I have a bunch of them in here and a bunch of clouds and I wanted to share something with you guys you might not know this but there is a large cloud image obviously it, there's a big cloud that is cut out and then there is also this other piece that I when I first cut it out, I thought, what in the world is that? I thought maybe it was supposed to go on top of the wave. I had no idea. And then all of a sudden it dawned on me, oh my gosh, it's supposed to go on top of the cloud to give the cloud a little more depth and um, kind of like 3D, you know, and so that is pretty cool. Um, I'm not actually doing that on my card tonight, but I wanted to share that with you in case you guys had this and you didn't know. Um, both of the clouds have one. So that's what these extra, well, they might be extra. They look like they're extra dies. And then, of course, the birds, which we have. I have a bunch of the birds kind of cropped out of the different colors of foil right here. So, okay. So I need to stamp my sentiment on this. So I'm going to bring in a foam mat. Or I guess I don't need the foam mat because it's a rubber stamp. So it's a, it already has foam, so I don't need that. But I do need some ink. So I need my Knight of Navy ink. And we're going to just tap that and look at it. And then I'm going to stamp it kind of close to this edge here because I'm going to end up trimming that off. So I'm going to kind of get it as close as I can. And I apologize if my hair is hanging down into the camera. There it is. That looks pretty dang good. All right, and then I'm going to add this to the top of my card. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue here. Maybe a little bit right there. 
and I'm going to put it about like that. So I'm going to try to make sure that there's, you know, enough space. I mean, that there's equal space up there so that it's not crooked. That's what I'm trying to say. So it's not crooked. Okay. And then I do have one of these large clouds. And I am going to put a little tiny bit of glue right there. And I'm just going to kind of lift this up and I'm going to tuck this cloud underneath so that we have a cloud. There we go. We'll snip off the excess here. Bring in our gems because, of course, we have to put a gem on here. Why wouldn't we? It's amazing. And which gem? I think I'm going to go with the uh, dark, uh, the dark blue, which I, I feel like is navy. Um, or it could be Pacific Point, I guess. I'm just going to set that right there. Put my gems away. And then we're just about done. I have a tiny strip of paper for the inside of the card. So I'm going to add that. There we go. It's a little bit long, but like I said earlier, too long is better than too short. We can always trim it off, but we can't add to it. Okay. Um, I also need to put a birdie on here, a birdie or two. What do I want here? I'm going to use this dark blue birdie. And it's going to go right here. And then the light foil birdie is going to go just above that. A little too much glue. Oh my, don't be falling around you. Okay. And it's going to go right here. Oh, maybe it's not. It decided it didn't want to. It wanted to fly in a different direction or something like that. I don't know. Okay. Thank you, Deb. Deb wants to remind you guys to make sure you hit the subscribe button and then the notification bell uh, to make sure that you're notified when I upload videos. So I don't know if that what happened, Polly, if maybe you hadn't clicked the notification bell and said all. Um, so that way YouTube is supposed to uh, let you know, you know, every time I go live or every time I post a video, um, it's supposed to let you know that. Of course, it's technology, so who knows? I'm going to add this with some dimensionals. So do it like that. Pick all those off. Now you can use your take your pick tool to get those off, but I don't ever seem to have a problem um, for whatever reason. And I don't have any nails, so um, I know that's not it. Okay, look at that. And the shine from the foil is so pretty. Not a whole lot of jazz on the inside. You know, we could put a bird or two in here. I have some extra birds. Um, I did this as a swap card, so I had a bunch of the birds. So we can add a couple birds. So if you guys like this card, be sure to give me a thumbs up. That really helps the YouTube algorithm. They like it when you uh, comment, like, share, all that stuff. Uh, it likes that and it will uh, continue to recommend my video to other people. And of course, I make these amazing projects, so we definitely want other people to be aware of it. It was June or July when this um, All Squared Away bundle first came out. I offered an online class, a class to go uh, using this. And because this is on sale again, or not again, it's on sale, I am bringing this class back. It sold out very quickly when I first offered it, uh, but everything that I use in it is still available, and so I thought, why not? 